Hello, Eric and everyone. We are here at Bergamot Station Art Center where I've been holding Santa Monica auctions, auctions since 1994. So in a few months, it'll be 30 years here. And I've been holding the auctions since 1984. So it's quite a while, but uh, every auction is different and every auction is exciting. Every auction is fun for the people that come, for my uh, employees, and sometimes for me. This particular auction, we've gotten some highlights that just came in last minute. If you go online, look at our website, smauctions.com, or come here to Bergamot Station. We're open right here before the auction, which will be again November fifth Sunday, but on November the 4th, we'll have a late night preview until eight o'clock. Uh, the work is here, it's up, and uh, we're here at Bergamot, which is becoming very exciting again with all the great galleries and the exhibitions around. Come on in and uh, let's take a look at some of the goodies. A nice surprise, my good friend, Edward Goldman has stopped in to take a look around. So Edward, thank you for coming. You've been coming to my auctions for 30, 40 years almost. And I've known you a long time. Yes, yes, we have a history. We, we have a history. Yes. Well, Edward, what do you think of this auction? I've been just following what you're doing for years and years. And it's always unbelievably diverse group of very interesting artworks of the artists whom I know personally, whom I admire not personally because they are already dead for many years. But this time, this is the most diverse and the most appealing series of works. And some of them surprisingly well priced. And just I hope you didn't make mistakes. No, I uh, probably did make mistakes. thousands versus what I would expect, fifteen and twenty thousand dollars. We were very lucky. We're dealing with estates and divorce and death, some of the bad things, but we've gotten really some great works for this upcoming auction, which will be coming up November fifth, Sunday. And you know, there is a famous three D that all the auction houses depend on: death, divorce, and disaster. And disaster. <laughs> okay, a combination of those three just brought the most diverse and in intriguing and I would just expect everyone to come here and if you're not buying it, my congratulations. Thank you, Edward. One of the works that I'm really happy that we were able to get for this auction is the pool by David Hockney from 19... 78 through 1980 he did this series at Tamron but this was the final finished print of an edition of only 48 and it's really rich and deep and beautiful and highly sought after right below it we have the Julian Wasser first and only platinum print of his in my opinion, one of his most famous pictures of uh, Duchamp and Yves Babbitt in the Pasadena Art Museum. It's the first time it's ever been up at auction anywhere. It was shot in 1963, but this was printed by Walden Color Studios in last year, and Julian, a good friend of ours, passed away this year. So this is an amazing work first time up for sale. This next to it is a Jules Pashkin painting from 1924. This is actually sold at auction at Christie's for $90,000. This painting is opening up at less than half of that in our sale. Above it is a great Jim Dine, uh, one of his most iconographic works but really beautifully colored robe next to the 1977 Jasper Johns of the Savarin coffee and his abstractions in one print. Really a gorgeous work. Below it we have one of the most 
sought after of Marc Chagall's lithographs, the Chloe print. And right here, very exciting, we have really incredible condition, a great work by Andy Warhol that he did in 1972 of Chairman Mao. We have an incredible silk screen of the electric chair and this particular image out of that whole series is the most sought after and the best color work by Andy Warhol. One of the great New York artists is Bryce Martin. We have a beautiful aquatint from 1979. Bryce passed away this year also. We're happy to have this lovely print. Next to it, we have also an aquatint etching by Picasso. And this is from 1968, signed by Picasso, numbered beautiful Picasso work. And right above it, very unusual for us to have a painting by one of the L.A. Venice great artists, Craig Kaufman. This is a very early, beautiful work from 1978. The painting has some problems. It has a few tears and nicks, so it needs restoration. And speaking of the Venice artists, this is a, one of the five Ed Rochers that we have. A piece from 1989. So a piece that Ed Rocher did as a fundraiser is Liberty. We love that piece. And this is also a piece that he did for Documenta in Germany. And this is from 1972. And below it you see a work, I Saw It by John Baldessari. And by Ed Roche again, we have Clown Speedo. We have this incredible print called Sex, of which there was only 30 done. And then we have, of course, Hollywood in the Rain. Another highlight that is interesting is the Eugene von Brunchenheim, which is an outside artist whose work I've always sought after. It's very hard to get, but I love the Eugene von Brunchenheim. We have a Beatrice Wood, a Billy Al Bankston, Mel Ramos, an original drawing by Fletcher Benton. I have one of the posters that Keith Herring did for my exhibition with Richard Duardo back in 1986, but on this particular poster, Keith did one of his radiating babies. Right here we have a John L. Toon, which is really kind of amazing. And over here, we have three different Ron Davises. And this is an example of one of them that were printed at Gemini, but they're beautiful, they're very rare. Above it, you see two works by Carlos Amaras, his car crash, Tree of Life, and one of the real highlights of this auction that I really think is special, this painting, oil painting by Carlos of Echo Park. This print over here next to it is again very similar, the Echo Park diptych. Works like this from early Carlos Amaras paintings. These five works here from a very important collector. These are hand-colored works by Andy Warhol. Before he was really known as Andy Warhol, they're very sought after in the bottom of my garden. And they're all painted, and these are really great examples of, of these works. And speaking of Andy Warhol, from the same collector, a really amazing scene setter back in New York in the day are these hand-colored silk screens of the flower. We have the whole series, 10 of these. So I really recommend these highly. And from the same collection, 
from a good friend of mine, uh, Alan Finkelstein, came this piece, which by far is the most exciting piece in the auction. It is a brilliantly unique oil on canvas by Andy Warhol, the dollar sign. This is a particularly bright, bold work. Behind it is a unique work by Jean Dubuffet, which is from about 1979. It was originally shown at Pace, and it's been in a really amazing collection. And we have about 25 works from the collection of Tamara Thomas in this sale. And she was a, a brilliant curator and art consultant in LA for 30 years. Her collection is remarkable. One of the great American artists, painters, Reginald Marsh did this gem. It came out of the Finkelstein collection. It's circa 1930. It's an uh, incredible beach scene full of huge impact for such a small painting. But it's magnificent with all of the great feeling that Reginald Marsh does through his work. So we're very proud to have this in the sale. And uh, right over here, I have an original work by Diego Rivera of Sombrero Cowboy on a Horse. And then also out of the same collection, by the way. And right now, we always try to get as many Raymond Pettibones as possible. From 1987, which is, as far as I'm concerned, you know, the seminal years of uh, Raymond's genre. And we love the landscape, but this one has all this incredible foliage below. Right above it, you see two works by Ed Moses, and next to it a work by Andy Moses. But just recently, we've gotten two more canvases, beautiful canvases by Ed Moses, which will be in the auction. And then right here, we have two prints that I love by Man Ray. The Violin des Anges is seminal to the genre of what Man Ray was photographing back in the 20s in Paris. One of the photographs, a very small photo of this setup work by Man Ray, sold last year at Christie's for $12.4 million. But this is a, a print that he made from the original idea that he had back in the 20s. This is a lithograph from 1969. And below it is a lithograph that he did from 1972. We have the, in my mind, it's the most important series that started to blossom the huge career of Robert Longo, one of our most important American contemporary artists. But back in the mid 80s, he did the Men in the City series. And on this particular one, you see Edmund thrown back. It is from the original, original lithograph, 1985. The edition is only 38. An artist that has exploded in the contemporary art scene from Japan is Nara. And this is a work from 2007. It is a multiple, but it's been sold out since the day it was made. We have it in the original box with all of the nomenclature and the packing. It's a very sought after work. It sells for eighty, ninety thousand dollars all the time. One of my favorite photographers is William Eggleston. And what we have is a 1971-1974 dye transfer print. It is really strong. It captures this moment in the 70s. Above it is not a photograph 
but it is a drawing by Martin Mall. I love that little work. And above that is a photograph by Deanne Arbus that was printed later, signed by Dune, but really a very, very iconographic, strong work. Also, something that we've had in a past auction 10 years ago, we got directly from Jeff Wasserman, who was the uh, printer of these five works by David Bowie from 1975. The one is signed and numbered, and we believe that they've been, uh, another set was uh, traveling in his museum show. Very beautiful silkscreen on this uh, really great handmade rice paper. So here we have one of the most important paintings by LA artist DJ Hall. This is the painting from the Palm Springs. It's been in the Palm Springs Museum and it has the original drawing and maquette from the study. So we're selling them as one lot. This is really iconographic LA art. And then right above it, New York artist Jack Pearson. And this is a two photo sets. This actually piece sold at Christie's a few years ago for uh, $16,000. So this is an incredible uh, work by uh, one of the important conceptual New York artists. And then right next to it above, of course, we have the self-portrait by Chuck Close. And right below it, the iconographic hearts by Jim Dine. The preview is open every day except Monday. The auction again is on Sunday, November 5th. It starts at one o'clock. We have a big tent outside. It goes on all afternoon. We have the catalog online at smauctions.com. And we uh, invite you to come and uh, have a good time. We will. Thank you.